Good morning everybody, my name is John Cooper, I'm the Minister at Morpeth Baptist Church and I'm also the pioneer and advocate for the north of England. Paul asked me to um, also talk to you a little bit about my role as, uh, as this, this advocate on the pioneering round table. Um, I've only been able to attend one of the meetings up to yet. The idea is to gather people from across um, the UK to get together um, in this round table to discuss how pioneering uh, might happen and to be advocates for it carrying that message back to the pioneers who are in the north and to our churches in the north and Paul's asked me to bring you a few uh, prayer uh, ideas for our pioneers so first of all a little bit about the round table this gathering um, from all of our regions to talk about pioneering. Pioneering's been up there with one of the four um, big themes that the Baptist Union wants us to concentrate on. And I wrote a little piece in the NBA um, magazine. I don't know if you saw that. Sometimes I think pioneering is a little bit misunderstood. Sometimes it's, it's just lumped in with church planting or other types of mission. Sometimes it's seen as something which is a challenge to what churches are already doing um, missionally. Paul Revel and myself and Caroline Friend from Anik have been talking about this and we don't think it is. It shouldn't, be a, it shouldn't be a challenge to what churches are already doing. But it also is slightly distinct from what is the norm. Pioneers want to go out to places, to live in the neighbourhood, to do something new, to sing that new song in the places where they feel called. It probably will look different to a lot of the things that we normally do um, in church as mission. Pioneers want to go out into the community, into spaces, and ask questions, to spend time missional listening. And they may spend a long time listening, finding out what the needs of the people are, finding out what happens in that community, connecting with those people of peace that they find there. And then being that Christ light in, in that place to take the gospel of Jesus, but a gospel of Jesus which is distinct to that place and to that environment and to those people that they see and find there. So it doesn't come to challenge what we do missionally, it doesn't come in as a replacement to church planting, but it is something distinct on its own. And so Paul and Caroline and I are talking about how we can have a missional um, understanding in the MBA and, and have pioneering as a part of that, but as it sits alongside what we're already doing in our churches. So how can we pray for our pioneers? First of all, I want us to pray that God will give them the spirit of creativity to really dream big um, as they go out and find these places where they feel called to work by God. Secondly, there may be pioneers in all of our congregations and we need to find who they are and release them. There may even be the people who are you know, somewhat vital to what we do, but they're being called to do something different. And we need to have the courage to release them to go and work wherever it is that they need to work. Thirdly, we need to give them time because this mission or listening takes a lot of time. It may seem like it's inactivity for a while, but actually it's really seeking to find out exactly what God is doing in that place where they're called to be. So we can pray for release. We can pray for creativity and imagination. And in this time of COVID, where a lot of pioneers are self-funded or bivocational or tent, in tent-making ministries, we can pray uh, for the finances. So thank you for listening to my reflection and hearing a little bit more about pioneering. If you'd like to get in contact with me and learn more about what's happening through the Pioneering Roundtable, then please contact Paul and he'll put you in touch. Thank you.